What is going on everybody? So welcome to a new series on the channel where I will be reviewing recommendations from my TikTok. So I went on TikTok recently and I've only been posting for a little over 12 or 13 days now and it's been really great. I've been getting a lot of interaction over there. People seem to really be enjoying my lists and so I've been telling a lot of people over on TikTok about my YouTube channel because I've been posting here for about a year and I wanted to find a way to kind of connect the two platforms together because I think they're a lot of fun. And so I've had a ton of people give me film recommendations on TikTok that they want me to watch or they want me to review. And so I thought it'd be a lot of fun to go through and take their recommendations and start watching them and reviewing them. So in this first episode, a user on TikTok, James, who recommended me this French extreme film that has been on my list for a while and I don't know why I've put it off for so long, but the film I'm going to be talking about today is the movie Martyrs from 2008. Martyrs is directed by Pascal Lagier, a young woman's quest for revenge against the people who kidnapped and tortured her as a child leads her and her best friend, also a victim of child abuse, on a terrifying young journey into the living hell of depravity. So you have these two young girls, Anna and Lucy, who meet in this home who have both been products of abuse. Lucy was abducted when she was really young and put in this place where she was abused mentally, physically, treated like an absolute animal and she finally managed a way to escape. And she gets out of there and when she gets into this home she's super quiet, she doesn't talk to a lot of people. And when she meets Anna, the two of them hit it off and they bond. And they become really close together. Well, even early on in Lucy's life you see the trauma that she faced from this situation. And so you jump forward in time to the two girls older and Lucy decides that she is going to exact vengeance on the people who abused her. And so she goes after them to kill them. They're these two adults who have children and she goes in there and things just kind of go nuts from there where she gets Anna involved. The film just kind of spirals into this incredibly depressing and depraved movie that is also saying a lot about overcoming trauma and I don't want to get too into spoilers because this is a film obviously it's been out since 2008 but it's something you don't really want to spoil but one of the things that I find so fascinating about this is you have this character that Lucy keeps seeing who is like at first you're wondering is this a demon is this an entity part of you wonders is this just a manifestation of her damaged psyche because she keeps seeing this woman who has like scars all over her body who's coming after her who keeps cutting her and hurting her and you wonder like is she just inflicting this pain to herself and that's something that the movie explores in a way that I feel like a lot of films are afraid to go there when it comes to looking at someone's trauma and the things that they have experienced. And it really kind of dives into Lucy's psyche in a way that, you know, it, it shook me. It's really hard to watch a person go through this. And when you start to find out the reasonings as to why these people did this to these young people, where you find out that Lucy is not the only one who has gone through this, it's just really heartbreaking. And then you have Anna's character who throughout the film, Lucy is going after these people. Anna is kind of like in the back of her head, okay, how do you know that they're these people? Are you 100% sure? Because if you make a mistake, this could go horribly wrong. And so she's kind of the doubt in the back of her mind. And then when we get into the third act and we start exploring why these people were being tortured and sort of this psychological implications and this idea explored about death and can we ever figure out what happens when we die becomes an even more interesting sort of thought-provoking dive into this really insane conspiracy theory thing, this really insane mindset that these people have about pushing people to their limits as far as torture and, and hurting people to see if they can see what lies beyond death. And it is one of the most fascinating, but also disturbing films I've ever watched. It really shook me up a lot. This movie is incredibly violent. It is not gonna be for people who don't do well around blood. I would not say that this is the most violent film I've ever watched. I feel like I've watched things that are much gr more grotesque than this, but it's something about the sound design and the way that this film is made that just kind of unsettles you. There's a lot of gunshots sequences in this that the gunshots make you feel shook all the way to your core. It's just so intense and 
brutal and jarring when you hear it that it kind of just takes you off guard as to like oh my god you like it's shaking me and then the violent scenes are very intense they don't pull back i would say even in the third act a little bit if i had any qualm with this movie at all it becomes a little gratuitous towards the third act but i feel like there's obviously intentionality to the gratuity of the violence they want the viewer to see this it was funny because martyrs feels like the complete opposite of Michael Haneke's Funny Games, which was another movie I was thinking about while I was watching this, which is like a uh, critique on how we as viewers view violence in film. And I thought that was really interesting to think about a movie like that that kind of subdues the violence in a way that you're only seeing the violent acts when Haneke feels like it's completely necessary, where in this film it does not pull back from the violence. You as the viewer are going to see these extreme things things happen and it's just it is brutal it is insane it's a really great film that I'm not going to be watching again anytime soon because it is really miserable to watch I think it definitely has its place in the horror world and even just examining the, the human psychology as a whole and the horrible things that people have to go through when it comes to abuse and trauma and it is a fantastic film so if you are into extremist horror I would definitely check it out so have you seen Martyrs did you love it did you it. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you thought. I thought this movie was brutal, it was intense, it was disturbing, and it's one I'm going to be thinking about for quite some time. As always, if you can like the video and subscribe to the channel, it helps me out a lot and lets me know the type of content you're looking for. I'm always putting out new material and look forward to getting more out for you in the near future. And as always, everyone, thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.